And out come the Sydney Swans, Andrew Dunkley leading them out into the ground. The record, as we said, not good here, but obviously this side has a lot of spirit. That performance when they won by 34 points at Colonial Stadium against St Kilda last Sunday showed that, I think. It really did underline. They're a hard tackling, hard at the ball team. And they've got to be some sort of a chance here. Good value, especially with Mitchell White. We'll come to that out of this West Coast Eagles side tonight. So they're on the ground. Taking a look, they've made the one change. Peter Philandia goes out of their team, as the boys mentioned. He's injured again. Yes, unfortunately, with Peter Philandia, he's had a bit of a bad run, but uh, you've got to make the most of what you can do. Now, the West Coast Eagles have made two changes. Donnelly and Bellotti come in. Embley, who's injured, and Mitchell White go out. And Mitchell White is the big story coming into this game. Well, he's a pretty important player for the West Coast Eagles awesome. up there at centre half forward. He probably didn't have one of his better years last year, but uh, there was rumour that either Mitchell White or Ashley McIntosh would come out of the sides. A giant screen is a backdrop, so we're set to go. Two sides that won in round one. There's the opening bounce. Run down by Gardner, taken by Banfield. Gets the hand pass away to Matera. That's Peter Matera. And he kicks it out towards left half forward. It pitches just inside the field of play and runs on. So out of bounds, about 75 metres from the Eagles' attacking goal. A few possible showers. Could make it very interesting. One behind by Gardner. Cousins, a half chance. Stafford's so good last week. Picks it up and kicks inside the 50. Courageous mark. We're a punder going back with a flight of the ball. So now he gets 50. Yes, we've seen quite a few 50s in the early part of the season already. And uh, you really have to be control yourself under this. 50 metres is a long way. I think Ball went across the mark there, uh, tracking his man, but outside five metres. We're a punder, kicking down towards half forward. Taylor made for Saddington over the top. Couldn't complete the mark. In there was Stafford. Spills to Turnbull. A snapshot looks pretty good. Ryan Turnbull from long range. Ball and Jankovic again. Ball works his way in front this time. Clean possession. Dragged off it though. Cousins nicely done at close quarters. Got it to Banfield. Kicks up towards the wing. Brilliantly gathered by the big man. Gardner breaks away to the kick like a ruckman. Eventually Reed, they got the crumb. Shawbel stood his ground, hand passes to Saddington. Saddington across the body. Now Maxfield in space can gather this one and go on the wing. Nobody near him. Stewie Maxfield comes back towards the middle. Cresswell goes back, takes the mark. Down towards centre half forward. The Swans rarely forward so far. Sets it up a high ball. In front is ball, in from the side Morrison. Waiting behind, Goods did well. Allison couldn't control it. Against the flow, McIntosh kicks towards the outer side. Well done by Schwab. Releases Wharf. Wharf from 65 metres out. Spots nobody at home. Long goal. I think it's good. It is. Indecisive. That's the way to go. Swans lead it by three points. It's 10 to 7. Nicks did well, knocked it across to Maxfield, who kicks it up towards the wing. Charging in there with Schwass, Burig in the opposite direction, over the shoulder, nicely done. Bellotti, very nimble for a man that size, goes short. This is Fletcher, 60 metres out, Fletcher down towards the kickoff line, coming up on the leaders, Cummings, knocked away by Dunkley's paid the mark. Mm. Whoa! That will get to have a look at the replay, Dennis, but uh, it was a bit like you there. Oh, and he's got a 50 now for undisciplined play. He's uh, put the ball on the ground. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I was looking at the umpire. I got the distinct impression he paid the mark. It will be, I think, quite enlightening to see if, in effect, he may have changed that to Cummings being held. Cummings remonstrating he was being held. Well, he's got the footy anyway. Point blank range. We may never know. Scott Cummings does, though. The end of it all. He kicks a goal. Well, I was uh, thought, uh, deliberately, I thought I wouldn't say anything about how good of a kick he is, because then it might have went through, but uh, unfortunately it didn't. Now the Eagles have been able to relieve and get an easy kick out to David Wurupunda, who's found Drew Banfield. Banfield to Kemp. What do we do now? We say he'll get it, they miss, we don't say anything, they miss. Wurupunda around the outer side, gets it to Braun, and he's marked close to the boundary line. Such a fine season last year. Runner-up in the first and best on the count back to Guy McKenna. That fixed him. <laughs> Here's Waugh. <laughs> board of half-back down towards half-board. Fitzgerald in front. It's got players everywhere as the Swans. Look at them all. Schwoss down towards half-board. They've been caught. Coming back. This is Barry. Three on one up forward, Dennis. Barry chips it across to Stafford. There's a man on in the goal square, but Stafford's decided he won't use O'Loughlin. and he'll come back and take a shot at goal. Well, it broke down because of that turnover. Yes, that's what uh, 
You've got to understand in AFL football, if you're going to run forward and take the ball forward, is what the West Coast defensive players were going to do. It. And that's what they want to see. There's no two worries about that. But when there is a turnover, you've got to get back. Sydney, three on one. That is just not what you want to see from as an AFL coach. Stafford for the lead after the siren, and he's got it. So Sydney will turn it quarter time up by three points. He's delighted. Plenty to laugh about. What a good term, though. The contrast in styles, the free-running West Coast Eagles, and Sydney quite prepared to be patient, build from the back, get the numbers back, and then move it up the ground. Didn't see him, though. You sort of hocked the highlights. <laughs> Would've been good if they showed you getting a kick. <laughs> up goes Stafford. Gets it across towards Cresswell, gets the hand pass away. Lachlan comes out of the centre square and boots Sydney down towards half forward. Big leap down there from Fitzgerald. He was pushed in the back. He's going to get the free kick. I just like the way Sydney are going about their business at the moment. I think the signs aren't that wonderful for the West Coast Eagles. I have to agree with you there, Dennis. Fitzgerald, he's a booming kick. This is no exception. Right down towards the kickoff line. Almost a free to ball. Doesn't matter. Armat gets the crumb, kicks the goal. Interesting, some positional changes. Fraser Gehrig's now playing on a wing. And Glenn Jakovic, I did seem to originally start at centre half forward, but so he may have gone back down in defence. Yep, he has back on the Jason Ball. That's our scoreline 3 5 to 2 2, and they went up out of the centre again to the Swans. Cresswell down towards half forward and Ball in front of Jakovic. A few hoots as Ball goes in short and finds Schwass, who's run on very aggressively out of the centre square. He was in the square for the bounce. Ball finding himself in front of Ben Jackets there earlier on. He kicks from 40. It's close, but it's good. Great start by the Swans. Saw a replay then. If that was in the forward line, I would have said that was a free kick. The other way around. Saddington. Knocks it across the line and out it goes. And the umpire this time has decided, has he? But it's a free. Well, I think that sort of uh, quantity, not necessarily quality there. He put up with the first one. That one, though, has tested his patience, and on balance, he's decided to penalise the West Coast Eagles. Kick to be taken by Gardner, not impossible from here. He'll kick from right on the 50. Normally a long kick, and this is a very good effort. A very good effort by Michael Gardner. They clap it across the line. Not a bad alternative, really, if there's nothing on. <laughs> might as well kick a goal, you know? 4-6-3-3. Three, three. It was a goal they needed, too. Rucks go at it again. Lachlan comes away. Lachlan driving inside the 50. McKenna in best position, or was he? Well, Fitzgerald floated in. we will kick from just inside. The 50. It's bending back left to right. I think it's okay, is it? No. Yes, it is. It's a goal. That was a lovely kick from Ryan Fitzgerald, the fourth man taken in the 98 draft, back from a shoulder reconstruction. Really seizing his opportunity. One down by Ball into the path of Schwass. They win it out of the middle again. A very high kick down towards half forward. Up goes McIntosh with him, Fitzgerald. Knocked on there by Lewis, taken by Armat. Comes back to Lewis. Man on for a hand pass. Not required. He snaps at goal. And Sydney have got another one. Conceded about 20 metres in the process. And a lot of Eagles have got back now. There goes the kick from Wharf in the direction of Barry. Worked out of it. Twisted away down there towards the boundary line by Metropolis. Barry comes again though. Good balance. Hunt against the line. Metropolis got a hand to it. That was enough. Knocked it down to Jakovic. Back to Metropolis. To McIntosh. And away come the Eagles. He goes across the ground where Aponda takes the mark. Well, he came across the ground one way. And the Eagles take it back across the ground the other way. This is Braun. Braun hard against the line. That's a lovely kick. Finds Fletcher on the lead. The defensive side of the wing. The margin 21 points. Sydney in front. Fletcher. Geary goes up and takes a clever mark. Fraser Geary. I really need, need to see a little bit more of Fraser Geary. Played a good game last week, but it hasn't been too much sided this week. Cummings, problems with the lights and problems with Dunkley. He went over the top and Cummings leads back, feeds the ball to Philip Matera. Philip Matera goes in and scores from 10 metres. Jason Ball, we saw the training staff there. And that was a flick that has been deemed a throw. And it will be a free kick to the West Coast Eagles. There's no hint of it here. 
But he kicks and kicks truly. Again, we'll take a look at the, uh, the Sydney kick out. Good to find himself spare, but all their players push back to the 50 metre line and give themselves an opportunity to run onto the ball. Plenty of space to run into, too. Stevens, a little short one, showed a fair bit of it to Broad, but Cresswell did nicely. Stevens draws a man, hops it over to Goods, and Goods breaks away. He's on the wing now, decides to kick, goes with the outside of the boot. I'm not sure he didn't intend that. He gets it to Crouch. Crouch will outside the 50, pops it inside, and the mark is taken by Allison. Well within scoring range. Can't remember. There goes the kick from Allison. And he's put it through. Steady and goal. It was Jared Crouch who passed that ball in. I've got total recall with the out of the pictures. Up goes Stafford, knocks it down. Cresswell crashing through his Banfield. Bellotti a little fumble. Tracked it like a basketball there. Dribbling down towards half court. He was taken high. He's going to get a free kick. Well, that was most unorthodox, but effective. <laughs> And he was a basketballer too, wasn't he? Yes, he was uh, originally in the development squad for the Perth Wildcats as a youngster. So an elite basketballer as Jakovic breaks away from 65 metres out. Sets it up towards the kickoff line in from the side. Gardner, if not a mark, certainly a free kick. Giving every single uh, extra amount of options. And... Uh... And the Eagles stay in touch. Lewis knocks it down. Braun... What a difference he's made in the centre square. Another move by Judge that has paid dividends. Here's Cousins. Did well. Banfield. Half smothered off the boot. Down towards Turnbull. Awkward. Shawball had a bounce off him. Comes across to Braun. Braun goes down towards the pocket. No flea. It was Matera in front. Dragged off the kick was Fletcher. This is Philip Matera. It was Peter who spilt it. But Philip finishes it off. I think he's kicked the goal. He has. Yes, I think Michael Gardner will be happy just to see the ball go out there. Not the best use of the ball on his left foot is Michael Gardner. At least he's getting there. Getting hold of it. Boundary throwing down towards right half forward. Lewis came in, missed it. Cousins too slick and too high. Pin Matera goes back and was too slick. Nicely done. Well, at least the first time, Allison dragged him down, pushing the backs of the call. And the umpire, good umpiring there by umpire McLaren. Had a quick look to see if it was advantage, realised it was going towards an eagle, who was Michael Braun inside the centre square, but it was going to pitch in front of him, and you couldn't guarantee it from beyond there. Some good players watching on in that dugout. Fletcher gives it away. This is Reed kicking it out towards right half forward. Leading back in the race is Matthews to Wharf. Nicely worked. Wharf goes to the outside of the boot, I think looking for a teammate out there just inside the boundary, Nicks. They combined very well in defence. Nick's across the body. That was a clever kick. And they've got numbers back here again. Allison away to Saddington. Saddington the hand pass to Armat. Armat kicks inside the 50. Fitzgerald. Ford had the better of Wayne Carey. This week, he's carrying on from his form. After last week when he kicked five. And that was a telling look from Glenn Jakovic as he picked up Fitzgerald after he kicked the goal. Certainly etched on that face was renewed respect. Who is this bloke? That was well done. Cresswell out of the middle, kicking down a half forward. We're a punt of great courage. Goes back, finds the footy, breaks away. Kicks towards the outer side wing. Braun comes up and takes the mark. 54 plays 47. Braun, Fletcher knocked it down. Peter Matera in trouble. Schwoss. Not kicking in danger. Fletcher came in hard, knocked it forward. This is Wharf though. That was stumbling across half back. Puts it through the centre. Intended for Barry. Well played by Donnelly. Combines with Morrison. Banfield kicks inside the 50 Geary. You can pop it back over them. And space behind them and Geary, who did that, punishes Sydney. Long range gone. It's Gerald a very difficult matchup. Bellotti would seem a pretty good man to put on him. He's quick and he's agile. There's Jankovic, hurriedly onto the boot. The Swans queue up, Nicks. Could kick this one. 
It's a long kick, and it's good. Nine possessions for Matthew Nix. A finesse half back, perhaps in the mold of Guy McKenna. He finishes his work very well. That was a lovely kick. Now Gardner gets a free. Inside the centre square. Michael Gardner. And just for the moment, the Swans meeting every challenge. Here's Djakovic. High ball down towards half forward. Fraser Gehrig goes up. Couldn't complete the mark. Lewis the crumb comes away. Little chip pass. Delicately done. Well done. Stafford, Stevens, untidy hand pass at the feet of Lewis. Time to pick it up, comes back to Creswell. Creswell, probing kick down towards the attacking 50 for his club. Plenty of eagles around the ball, Bellotti. He's at right half back, Laurie Bellotti, kicks it up towards the wing. Not a particularly effective kick. Creswell once more to Saddington, to Lewis. Now Stevens, paid him back, awkward hand pass. Stevens, short one. O'Brien. Putting a lot of the ball at the moment, Sydney. Centering kick in from behind. Fitzgerald again. Well, how about this youngster? Now it's going to be a free kick. It's going Sydney's way. Fitzgerald oblivious to all of that. Did what he had to do and take the mark. But Leo Barry's getting a free. And he'll kick from directly in front. Distance shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Another classic example. The Eagles two on one there. Guy McKenna really couldn't do much more than that. And while Fitzgerald did take the mark. A set of free kicks being given. And Ken Judge really needs to get out there and say to his players, just one on one, let's try and close them down. Steady up a little bit. Goal to Barry. Glenn Jakovic right half back. Goals hard to come by for the West Coast Eagles tonight. Gary, that was a very good mark. At full stretch, coming hard, took it low down. Wants to go and he does. Comes back to the middle and Jakovic. Jakovic from half back, kicks through the centre. Gardner goes up, had it knocked away. Matthews grabs the crumb, gets it to Saddington. Saddington arches the back inside the centre square. Got it across to support. Worf comes back to Saddington. Saddington kicks inside the 50, almost to Fitzgerald. He's pushed to the back. Advantage is paid. The umpire lets them go, and he's a very good judge. O'Brien kicks a goal. To Cousins, comes back to the middle. That's a clever hand pass. Releases Banfield. He accelerates away. Kicks inside the forward line once more. The forward 50 towards the boundary line. Williams, pursued by Crouch, comes to Turnbull. Turnbull, vacant square, goes back. Fraser Gehrig, troubled by the lights initially. Takes the mark, plays on, kicks a goal. Said could well, could well and truly set them up for the season. Fitzgerald, only as far as we're a punder. Nice sidestep, short one to Cousins. Cousins breaks away, then kicking towards the outer side. Banfield on the lead. Loose ball at the back, socket off the ground by Rimsill. Claims he was held, coming through his Banfield, sockers it. Clean balls a swan down there. That was a bad result for Shawball. Picked up by Gardner, overlapping his Banfield. Kicks inside the 50, outnumbered his Geary. Was he held? Reaching over the top was Wolf. Still he goes, diving in there, Crouch. Ties it up with Jagovic. And having plenty to say as Fraser Gehrig, that's been the story as far as the West Coast Eagles forwards are concerned. They've done a lot of arguing with the umpires, but as my old dad used to say, no point arguing with an umpire. It's like trying to teach a pig to sing. You're wasting your time and you finish up annoying the pig. It's taken by Jakovic, who snaps and kicks a goal. That could be a lifter. And Turnbull, he's certainly having a sensational quarter there, just using his strength to get through and uh, to be able to handball it off and get the, uh, the ball moving forward. And the game is certainly anybody's at the moment. Jankovic up in front, clean possession. What's his snap shooting like? Average, mm -hmm. behind. Yes, Ryan Turnbull making a statement in this final term. Great to see him back and carving a spot in this team. As Chris said, thrown a lifeline by the coach, Ken Judge. We saw the other coach, Rodney Eid, working the phone there. And this game has four and a half minutes to go. So the Eagles could do with a goal pretty soon. Here's Matthews. Where's Nix? Generally back towards the middle. He's not there this time. In fact, he kicked it in, so he hasn't pushed up. He's just hanging back towards the square. Matthews hugs the boundary with a kick. Up goes Turnbull to knock it down. Worf was there in front, Morrison. Kicks for space. How will it bounce? Well trapped by Stafford. Brilliantly done. That was a big play in the context of this game. Now Peter Matera grabs it back off him. Hooks it down towards Gardner who's dropped the mark. Across the line it goes. <laughs> well, I bet you Rodney Eade and his match committee have breathed a sigh of relief. Michael Gardner putting that down. On the other hand, you just saw 
Ken Judge and his staff. Probably saying, damn. At least. Yes. Four minutes to go. And the Eagles need two goals. Schwass to Saddington. Clock continues to run. Saddington in the back pocket. Taking plenty of time, the youngster. Well, that's the right thing to do, Dennis. Any time that you can use up valuable seconds. It's a game of inches and seconds. And this I is the time get. to be doing it. Up towards the Turnbull wing in front, Stafford. Waiting behind Metropolis. Goes in short. Fletcher, he's taken the mark just outside the 50. Goes towards Philip Matera. They'll need a mark here. Philip Matera couldn't complete the mark. Behind is Stevens. It bounced obligingly for Philip Matera, who snaps and misses. Well, I'm not quite sure whether that was the right option for young Chad Fletcher there. He found himself about 50 out in front. He's one of the better kicks at the West Coast Eagles. Should have gone Left for goal. Yep. And uh, he could kick it from 50 out. I think that would have been the right decision based under these conditions right now. Don't put it out in the pockets. Maxfield to kick it in. Six points the margin. There's a false start. Not bad policy either now goes for distance. Stafford is outnumbered, waiting behind Peter Matera. He's running away from his own goal, Peter Matera. Still Matera, but he was slung. And that's silly Matera, you got to give away a free kick. He went back. He has, Dennis. And had a piece of the tackler. And that was just terrible football. And you can see it. That's the opinion of the coaching staff. The ball will be taken down the field to the next contest. And Goods has got it. Well, why Peter Matera, a veteran, took the bait there? I don't know. Especially when he did so much hard work. It's got it all come undone. And in many respects, that could be a turning point right there. And And Schwass goes out wide, and it's taken by Goods. The game in the balance, six points the difference. And Matera giving it up. Dunkley's got it now. Yes, well, Sydney now going to revert back to that possession game, taking their time, you using need, up valuable seconds. Need to be careful, there's still plenty of time, over two minutes to go. An entire basketball match in that time. Cresswell just looping around behind, little chip pass out wide, and the mic is taken by Lewis. So they're experienced players now involved in this. Lewis has got the ball on the wing, six points the margin, under two minutes now by a couple of ticks. Lewis getting plenty of advice, drives it down towards right half forward. Stafford having problems with the lights, hanging on to McIntosh. And McIntosh is getting the free. Now, this is a chance for the Eagles. Could be talking a draw here. If they can whip it down the ground and get a goal, depending on how quickly it comes, there could still be time for either side to kick the winning score. But initially, first things first, McIntosh can't afford to dawdle here. McIntosh out of defence, kicks towards midfield. Cresswell did well, got in front. Reed knocked it away. Lewis dives on top of it, feeds it back to Seymour. Seymour, the hurried kick out towards the outer side wing, and it bounces out of bounds. The good news for the Eagles, the clock will stop at 1.22. There's some very tight players out there now. The West Coast Eagles have thrown everything at Sydney. Can Sydney hold it off? Time is probably on their side. Thomas and killed a champ, George Young. Wearing his emotions on his sleeve. Goods thumps it down. Matera falling to the ground. The hand pass to Tool. We're upon the coming through to Cousins. Just over a minute to go. Cousins drives it to midfield. The Eagles come again. Offhand Seymour. Brilliantly read. Goes wide and finds Lewis. Lewis on the outer side. Intent on drawing a man. Now he pops it close to the boundary line. I think out of bounds on the full. No touched across the line. So a boundary throw in with a clock down to 53. Philip Reid thought it was out of bounds on the full. And this finish in keeping with the game, isn't it? Just a slog, end-to-end -end stuff. Goods, you back him in this situation. He does win it to the back of the pack, but open things up for the Eagles as it turned out. Morris into Peter Matera. Peter Matera, brilliantly done, spun out of trouble, dragged down, didn't have the ball. Play goes on. Fitzgerald, hurried kick. Allison inside the fifth. Back to Lewis, who's been very important in these oh, dying minutes. Lovely and goal. Lewis kicks 
hits the ceiling. How about that? They thumped the table. That was table thumping stuff. Wonderful performance by the Sydney Swans. They won at Colonial Stadium in round one. They've come to Perth and won in round two as Cresswell comes back to Schwass and Schwass kicks it out wide where it goes skidding across the boundary line. Dying seconds of the game. 12-10 plays 10-10. In many respects tonight a war of attrition. Rodney Eads still wanting to make changes. Rodney, it doesn't matter. 16 seconds to go. <laughs> Save your energy, sir. Over the top, Fitzgerald knocks it down. Schwass again heads for the boundary line. He's going to get a free kick. No, out of bounds. But they've got a two-goal buffer, so... Eight seconds to go. So the Sydney Swans will go home. Very happy bunch of fellas. Two wins from their first two games this season. They haven't won since you made your debut. And that seems a long time ago. Round three, 1987 was the last time they won at Subi. They've won again tonight. Big performance by the Sydney Swans. Home by 12 points. 